So guys, welcome back to the test robot automation. Hope you guys are doing well. Sorry, I was really busy regarding, I didn't upload uh, some of the videos, but I have seen lots of comment regarding like many people are not getting this particular NPXVDD chain. They're facing the issues, but let's sort it out this one in this particular video. So the problem here is like if these guys have already, the Playwright BDD guys, they have done some improvement. The last lecture, I was in the first lecture, I defined to design the framework. So we're going to just add a little bit to that particular part. Let's see, we have already this Playwright BDD, which is on 6.03. I hope you guys might also be on that that one or maybe the other version but according to them we have to do which is we have to remove this npm cucumber so first we're gonna remove the cucumber okay so we don't need the cucumber at all now and we're just going to do npm i d playwright test of bdd at the rate latest so that's gonna give us a latest dependencies here guys we have uh, now we are on now playwright 7.0 uh, 7.2.2 version before that we were on 6.03 now we are on 7.22 version but as per this particular version we have to do some configuration in our playwright configuration directory so what we're gonna do instead of giving this import part so let it be here as it is so I'm just going to copy this and comment out this and I'm going to paste it again. Okay. So in future, we can have a little bit of context about that one. So here we are giving in the path section, we are giving the feature file. So similarly, we have to give a feature. Okay. And we have to give the feature in curly basis. And we have to just put the feature here like this way. Okay. And here we are giving a require as a step. So we have a steps now here. Okay. And in st steps, we can give it like this way. Okay. And we also have the test fixtures, right? So we can, we also have to provide the fixture inside the steps block, not separately. So now we can provide the steps inside the, this block over here. Okay. So this is how you have to do some configuration in the playwright config.js file. Okay. So guys, after doing this, let's do one thing. Let me just show you one more thing to actually we are we are designing here the all the all these features but we are not gluing the stack and the feature even i got a comment on this one regarding like how we can glue the steps and the feature okay so how you can do it you have to okay let me come delete here first delete this give you the, the whole thing from scratch instead okay I'm just going to come to the particular uh, project level, which is here. Let me go to the readme file. Okay. I just going to change some of the things to the readme file. I know I need to change as well from the readme file as well. From on the project level, I will go to the project level and click here. And I'm going to make one folder, which is a dot VS code folder. Okay. And under this folder, I'm just going to make one file saying that settings.json. Okay. And under the settings.json, I will provide one empty JSON. And with this, uh, okay. One more thing, You what you have to do, you have to come to the extension and download this particular extension, which is a Cucumber Gherkin full support extension. And also download this extension, which is a uh, feature syntax highlight snippet. This is going to help you to generate the snippet. This is going to help you to get the full support for the, from the cucumber and this, sorry, for the Gherkin and Cucum and this is the support which is given by cucumber IO. So please download these three extensions, which is by Gherkin and feature syntax highlight. Okay. You can type in here the name. I'm just going to leave it for a while, say, so you guys can see it properly. And even I, I'm going to put it in the comment section. 
all these extensions right okay so let's go to our project under which i'm putting the what the dot vs code and under settings i have to give one particular attribute say cucumber autocomplete and here is the autocomplete steps oh sorry autocomplete and this is the auto cucumber autocomplete steps and what we have to do we have to provide the path to our steps so i am just going to click right click copy the relative path okay and i am just going to provide it over here and yes i have to give it like this way and here i have to give star dot js if you are working on uh, typescript you give ts and if you are working on J, uh, J, javascript you give js okay pretty simple now i'm going to close all the tabs okay close all and click on ecom login feature and if i want to go to this particular steps into the steps file i have to go right click okay and here i can click on account which is going to take me to that particular steps directly look i click on my account so we are have glued our uh, feature and the steps definition file okay so tomorrow if you are adding lots and lots of feature file and again you just need to jump to that particular steps so you can you can do it like this way okay hope you understand if you are struggling somewhere then please let me know so guys we or we have discussed here what we have discussed one is uh, to upgrade this particular playwright bdd which is this one okay so let me show you by designing one particular feature file so i'm just going to go for a google drive so i'm just going to get, say this is google dot feature okay and i'm just going to type in say feature look how am i am getting the snippet google feature okay and here i'm just going to say scenario it's a normal scenario navigate to google dot com okay and I think we could, we just have to navigate to Google. So it's a scenario name because, and I'm just going to give one particular scenario. Say, given I navigate to Google Home page, which is which is this one right so now look we don't have that particular step this will definitely give me in this particular slide so like we don't have this particular step so how to generate the step pretty simple it's a similar way npx bd gen okay you will get the step copy this and i'm just going to go into the steps file folder now okay new file say google steps dot chess okay and paste it this one here right i just have to grab remove this one okay and what i have to do is i have to import i have to give this one which is here and i have to also i don't need the test because i'm not importing anything any fixture over here so what we have to do we have to import this uh, we have to import this create bdd because we are importing from there so we have to import this create bdd and if i down type in page and if i just say await page dot go to go to where go to the argument which is the url google.com right 
and a few terminal and now if i just what i have to do i just want to run this particular feature right so what i will say at the rate only here okay okay i think it is running now if i do npx play right test i have fun uh hit it okay and one more thing mm. okay let's see whether it is opening the google.com or not okay actually this is a authentication which it will, it will be developing every time but it is opening the google.com that's fine so this is how you have to improve in improvise your test cases so now if i open it yeah it is actually there okay so can you see now it is matte okay so uh, this is the way you have to do it so what we learned today to we learn to update the package we update this playwright test playwright bdd to 7.22 okay so if you guys are not getting that particular and when you do and text vdd chain you're not getting some result it is because they have upgraded the library okay and the other thing is they have and the other thing is they they, they need that need to be done a little bit configuration so when you come to the playwright config.js file over here this is a previous configuration and this is the configuration which we did in today's lecture what we did we did, we put the feature and we provide the singles we are not providing here bracket right we were providing in the path we were providing a bracket but now we are not providing a bracket we can just define into a particular single string format okay and here we are providing the steps so and here also we are providing the fixture so here is the repository guys you can take it to all the code from here okay i have def, um, i have put this link on under each and every video so please i get the comment where is where is the code you can get it from there i will put this code in here that's it for today's videos guys okay thank you for your time and happy testing keep safe and please subscribe the test over automation press that bell icon i'm really sorry i'm not posting the videos a little bit regularly but i try my best to put it thank you Thank you.